Welcome to the 2021 Australian Open Women's Singles Final. Would you please welcome from the United States our 24th seed, Jennifer Brady. Our third seed, three-time Grand Slam champion, would you please welcome from Japan, Naomi Osaka. You can see Jen Brady jump out of the chair and that's really why she needs to, whatever nerve she has, because let me tell you, she'll have some. This is a massive occasion for her, her first Grand Slam final. So we're good to go here. 2021 Australian Open women's singles final. The crowd is in attendance. They're enthusiastic. Osaka, get us going. Bolts. Fifteen love. It's a sign of confidence from Osaka. She won the toss, elected to serve. And with a serve like that, why not? Yeah, served 44 aces in this tournament so far. It's tournament leader. Love. Quick look at the motion. Very tidy up to trophy position and then explosive with the legs. That is impressive. Wow. We mentioned the outside conditions here look good. We're fortunate to have uh, Josh Eagle, former uh, coach of many touring players. Courtside Josh seems spectacular from up here. What do you it say? It does. It's uh, absolutely pumping down here. And I must say, the poise when Naomi Osaka walked out here on Rod Laver Arena, she just looks so settled, so composed, and just really definite about what she's doing. So the perfect start. She's looking good. Let's see how Jen Brady responds. Jennifer Brady to serve. Fault. Out. And on the left there is the uh, strength and conditioning coach of Brady. His name is Daniel Pohl, and she gives him a lot of credit for her improvement in the last 12 months. Out. Some heat on that second serve, 163 kilometers an hour. Also a very technically sound service motion, strong arabesque position on landing. Let's for serve. So far, good signs for Jen Brady, matching it in the serving department with Osaka. Oh. 
out. Fault. Forty fifteen. Served uh, 32 aces has Brady up to this stage in six matches. Not quite as many as Osaka, but very effective. Brady will need to mix up her second serve. Osaka looks to take the second serve very close to the baseline or inside the baseline. A serve option that is really important is to use the body serve into Osaka, not give her hitting room. Yeah, it was a really good return from Osaka. 175k an hour serve right into the corner. She took it so early. That is in Vasette there, the coach of Osaka. Let's Fissif. Tremendous return from Osaka. Deuce. This time off the forehand side. Giving validation, I think, to your comment about needing to serve more at the body. Don't give your opponent room, room to swing when they're seeing the ball that well. Oh, that's quick. And Osaka late. Caught on the rebound. Fault. That's wide, so that's a confidence builder for Brady. One game of sense. Brady will move to at least number 13 in the rankings. Should she uh, come off second best here, number 12 if she wins. Currently ranked 24, so it's a major improvement. play from Jen Brady. You could see that she gave herself some time and a good look at the Osaka forehand. That's the side where you can get errors from. She takes in the preparation inverted racket face and can be a little late to contact on occasions.
out. Fifteen all. A little extra breeze out there than perhaps we expected. We'll see what Josh has got to add to that in a little while. Brady not getting up to that last ball. Definitely breezy down here. Asaka serving into the wind. So the ball's just sitting up from her end a little bit. Jen Brady come out. She's all pumped up. Plenty of adrenaline. She's swinging freely. And some of those serves were incredible up around the 180k mark. Out. 14, 15. Anticipated, but couldn't come up with a pass. So on serve, early days. Saka, 2-1. It's been a composed start from both players. We would certainly expect that from Naomi Osaka. This is her fourth Grand Slam opportunity. And she's won three, the past three. So she's been there before and, and Jen Brady has not. You could see there she was jumping around, trying to get rid of the nerves. So she'd be feeling quite pleased after holding her first service game. Yeah, no question about that. Um, she comes out of college tennis, played for UCLA and had a very strong team with her. So she's used to sort of the noise and the stress of uh, even that college environment will help her here to some degree. But uh, she does wear her emotions uh, quite uh, openly. So what a performance over the last uh, couple of years, certainly from Naomi Osaka. She's been become the first woman since Sellers in the early 90s to emerge victorious from the first four Grand Slam finals of her career. So that would be an incredible thank achievement you for now, thank you. if Osaka can uh, get that done tonight. Osaka, so dangerous when she has time from the middle of the court. Love she makes you press a bit much sometimes, Osaka. She's so aggressive off the return. There's uh, Coach Gerser on the right. Coach of Brady. Fault. Big trouble here. The backhand of Brady just being the more vulnerable of the two ground strokes. No double faults. Coming just to, such as the stress that Osaka applies. So the first break going the way of Osaka. Guys, just looks like Jen Brady really come out here with a really aggressive mindset. I think when she's down that tough end into the wind, needs to use a little more shape of shot, more top spin, try and get the ball bouncing up high because at the moment Osaka will just eat up this pace. She absolutely loves it when the ball's coming on quick. Oh, 
I think that was an example of what Josh was saying. It was a big strike from Brady, but Osaka just loved it and uh, came back with a little extra heat. This was the forehand. To good. Well, it's very clear the intent from Brady off the second serve return. She's giving herself time, making contact a couple of metres behind the baseline and then looking to move forward and take control of the point if she can. You can see her positioning there. Play. 15, she will be even more effective if she can get Naomi Osaka moving a little wider on the serve plus one shot. course earlier in the tournament the round of 16 was down match points against uh, Muguruza got through that sometimes when that happens you feel like uh, things are going to go your way match has not lost a point when the first serve has gone in she's been receiving those short replies off the return and then pretty much been able to dominate the point Both players spent just under eight hours on court to get to this final situation. Both uh, having to struggle a couple of times. As I said, Osaka was down match points to Muguruza. Lost a set in that match. Ball. My advantage, Brady. A couple of double faults from Osaka, so she's a little tense as well. Chance for Brady to get back on level terms as far as serving is concerned. Good stuff from Brady. Aggressive. Well done defensively as well. So we are now back on serve for Osaka. 3-2. Three, Brady is so clear on her game plan. Certainly she would have discussed with her coach 
Pariah about looking to give ourselves some time and space on the second serve return in particular, and then looking to build the point from there. This last rally was one of the longest so far in the match. And Brady, this is what she has to do. Get Naomi Osaka off balance, stretched. See there, a little off balance, has to work her way back into court. Interesting to see the different height that both players hit above the net. Brady giving the ball a little more shape on the forehand. Very flat on the backhand for Osaka. Quick glance at her support box. They were well pleased with her efforts there. This is a woman who was in a hard lockdown. Did it tough. She's the only woman in hard lockdown to make it past the third round. So she's resilient. She takes things in a stride. Two, three. Just really needs to improve her first serve percentage. Only serving at 27% first serves in at the moment. Good stuff. That second serve getting up really high above Osaka's shoulders. Tough to get some purchase from there. Thank you. Just what Brady needed. Thank you. Three game points. That's a really good comeback from Brady. We're not surprised. Her attitude has always been one of resilience. Three games off. Spoke of her hard lockdown. She said, I think it was more just trying to stay positive and know that there are worse things than being in a hotel room. Well, that's just simple stuff, but it's the attitude that has uh, stood her very well. Out. <laughs> Interesting time. Osaka starting to miss fire from the baseline. Brady putting a lot of pressure on her. Wow, that's a very poor miss from Osaka. Definitely feels like there's a momentum shift down here. That point where Osaka had to go to a 4-1 lead on serve seems a long time ago. Eh? Jen Brady certainly looks confident. And Osaka just starting to doubt herself a little bit and overplaying. She's always got this first serve weapon to rely on. 
Just steadies the ship there, Osaka, as champions do. It's a big hold. 4-3. New please, Osaka leads four, game to three for Again, I am impressed with Brady and the way that she's going about this match. She's clear. Just needs to execute a little better with the second serve return. Push Osaka off balance. But what a game at 3 all from Osaka. She was a little wayward with a few shots, making some uncharacteristic unforced errors. But then comes back with the ace out wide at 30 all. Just such self belief. So, Utaka Nakamura there, who's um, the physical trainer of Osaka. So seven games, and it's been seven games of quality. Osaka, who's on a 20-match winning streak at the moment. We saw how that uh, sort of confidence played out in that last game under a little bit of stress, but managed to settle and had the self-belief to come through it. Brady, 3-4. Brady standing and delivering from the baseline. Two backhand winners for the match thus far. Nobody redirects power better than this young lady, Naomi Osaka. Just have a look at how easy she just stands and delivers with power. Might not look powerful up there in the commentary box, guys, but this is huge. 182. That's a good response. First surf percentage rising. It needed to. Both players know the significance of this moment. Went for the body serve. However, Osaka was on to it. So, point now for 5 3 for Osaka.
Deuce. So tough playing against Naomi Osaka. You bang your serve down, and before you know it, that ball is back on you so quickly. Very hard to get yourself organised and into position. Did not miss by much. See, Brady still trying to shadow her serve. Not happy with a couple of things technically. Still only serving at 36% for serves in. That's not high enough. serves was the scream and she's right she knows it has to address it somehow crowd invested in this enjoying it ace number two will give her a little lift Second serve just sitting in the strike zone for Osaka and dealt with cross court with pace. Nice, that's with pace but with control and conviction. Advantage ready. serve when she needed it most big pressure hole for Brady for all four games all for seconds when you get to a final you want it to be close you you want both players playing their best <laughs> tennis and that's exactly what we're seeing Brady just disrupting the rhythm of Osaka with her change in court position. Oh. Back on this second serve return. Well, she was back and then she moved up as Osaka was tossing the ball up. So Love another it. good strategy from Brady that is very disruptive. Totally legal, of course, but it's designed to sow doubt in the mind of the server. Love 30. She'll be annoyed with that second serve. 15, 13. Here at return. It's a free point. Oh. 
Act. Oh. Consistently comes to her rescue that first serve. It's only the last minute she recognizes it's over. So great court coverage, terrific lob, break point. Oh, oh well played, Osaka. Refuses to be pushed back. Juice. I think she was a little lucky on that forehand. Very open stance. It worked. Oh. That's wide. Well, this is a set of the highest quality, isn't it? Both women having their opportunities, both being resilient. Osaka in the lead, 5-4. Time and time again, as you mentioned, Jeff Masters, that first serve really rescuing Naomi Osaka. Just such a dominating shot. She's only lost three points in this first set when the first serve has gone in. It's very sound, technically explosive. Yeah, prior to reaching this final, she had 39% uh, of her serves, first serves that is, not come back into play. So that's a, an incredibly impressive stat. Brady having to do lots of innovative and Really proactive play, good uh, variety. Still struggling. What an atmosphere here! It's fabulous. Saturday night at the tennis. How good does it get? Good crowd in. Really good crowd in. Beautiful night. Fantastic tennis. Lots of Osaka fans here and equally plenty of support for Jen Brady. This is a ripper. Enjoy it. Brady serving. Players already. To stay in contention in this first set. sense that the crowd is a little more pro Jen Brady when she wins a point they're a little louder well the Australians love an underdog and she certainly comes in here at least favored as far as her rankings are concerned 
Out. 30-15. This is the end for me, Brady. She's with the wind. That second serve, the kick serve is really quite effective, especially to the second court if she can get it kicking up high with the wind behind her. She might get a result. First serve down the center was uh, even a better option. 40 15. Again, Brady having no time after the serve. It's back so quickly on her from the return of Osaka. Trying to change it up, going for a more aggressive surprise serve down the center. Will she pay the price? I'm not quite sure why. It was wonderful defense. And it couldn't have been any better as far as the result was concerned. Right in the corner here on the line. And Brady overdoing it with the wind behind her. Set point, Osaka. Oh, wow. That's a shocking miss and a disappointment for Brady. Had it all set up. Osaka, very grateful. 6-4. But Osaka, she puts a lot of pressure. She moves so well, you Second feel like you've got to do more. So Brady needs to put that out of her mind. And begin Please find to see quickly, thank you. Set Especially number two, a fresh. Players are ready. Any seat, thank you. Sarkham covering more territory. We spoke about it being quick conditions for this final, and the average rally length has been 2.96 shots. So short rallies. But. As you would expect from two very aggressive players. Yeah, very much expected that. Brady played 734 points to get to this stage of this tournament. And 510 of those points were won or lost in zero to four stroke rallies.
Big ball striking. And Osaka likewise played 741 points to get to this stage, of which 542, again, were completed in zero to four shot rallies. So they both like to really take the ascendancy early. There's that first serve that gets her out of trouble so frequently. game of the second set going the way of the number three seed. Second set. Josh Eagle court side. Josh, are you seeing anything from Brady in regards to we've spoken about wearing her emotions on her sleeve? Look, she's come out. She's come out pumped up. She's been ultra aggressive probably cost of the first set she's thrown a lot at naomi i've got to say naomi absorbed so much in that first set just a few seeds of doubt taught towards the back end but gee she's just so hard to dislodge from the baseline let's just see how jen brady comes out at the start of this set she needs to respond needs to stay with naomi early in this second set Oh, that's very wayward. You can't be critical of Jen Brady. She knows that her, if she comes out here and just makes the balls, that's not going to get win of the title. That's why you just see a swing from the hip on everything. She got close in that first set. Let's just see what she can produce right now. Wow, that's as good as it gets. That's incredible. 15, 14. Saka, very simple technique on the backhand. Open stance. Plenty of power. Well, this is when players with the mindset that Osaka has are dangerous. She says, quote, I think I fight the hardest in finals. That's where you set yourself apart. She's on a mission here, Osaka. Thank you. Saka's ability to find the angle off the backhand side is one of her greatest weapons. Able to do that again in this last point.
Saka on a roll. Nicole, also, we must mention the athletic ability of Osaka. It's just so hard to maneuver her off the baseline. She absorbs power, then redirects, but her athletic ability is unrivaled. Again, some big hitting from Brady from the baseline. Still, it's Osaka with one more game point. Brady needs to put the brakes on Osaka. Oh, the first serve again is the big come on from Osaka. She wants this badly and she's performing. Has won the last five games to lead a set and three love. Naomi Osaka is one of the most marketable athletes in the world. Yeah, she's uh, regarded as being the highest earning female athlete currently in the world and uh, understandably why. She also likes to uh, speak her mind as well. She says, I found my voice to speak on behalf of the people that need it. So she's quite happy to give uh, her thoughts on various issues, some of them uh, politically. Time. Naomi Osaka, the current US Open champion, and she showed her maturity last year in winning that US Open championships, coming back from a set and a breakdown against Azarenka. Showed her steely nerve. Thank you, Azarenka. And determination. Here she is again. Look at her. She wants this badly. Love three, Brady. Else. 15 love. Just too good from Osaka. 15. Coach Wim Fassett very happy with his charge. Just taken out of a comfort zone now here, Brady, trying to just it's push a little nice harder. Look at the net clearance difference. Osaka, lower, less spin, more pace through the court, Brady, the more shape. But that shape sometimes gives this woman more time. Unforced errors starting to creep up for Brady. 24 unforced errors in this match so far. She has to be aggressive, but needs to find the balance. Love. 
Let's first serve. Well, no, man, Saka, what a different player this year from last year here when she Seven lost to Coco Goff, the teenager in the third round. She was out of sorts, didn't start 2020 well, but by the end of 2020, she was the player to beat. And so it seems here again tonight, she's almost unstoppable for love. Just love to see Jen Brady try a different game style now. She's thrown everything at Osaka, tried to hit her off the court. That's just not going to work. Maybe like to see her change it up, loop the ball. Almost just a, a completely different look. Fifteen all. Out. Just needs to control Thanks that you. aggression. Well, this is a must-win game for Jen Brady. Try and break Naomi Osaka. Outstanding from the middle of the court to achieve that sort of angle. Needs great footwork, incredible control, and self belief. This is superb. Let's. Jen Brady fighting back. Three quality forehands. That's what she loves to do, being able to dictate from the backhand corner of the court, but unfortunately has not had that many opportunities to do this throughout the match.
<laughs> she thought it was going out in one of her shots and it landed in. I think everybody thought it was going out, including Osaka. So break point here for Brady to get on the board. Fault. idea the slice backhand yes. just for a, some variety from Brady from one side of the court to the other now she did well in this point Jen Brady this backhand on song is there a glimmer of hope for Jen, for Jen Brady the crowd hopes so. They're enjoying this. One four. Well, I'm stating the obvious, but that was crucial. And it was good effort from Jen Brady to get herself the break back. And maybe that's where the crowd can come into play. They love an underdog, especially someone who is also down in the match. The tendency is to get behind the player. They want to see more tennis played in this women's final. She's had to work hard, covered lots of territory. Osaka, she brings plenty to the table physically as well as uh, Josh mentioned earlier she is an outstanding athlete Osaka Time able to generate huge pace when uh, stressed what an environment something the players have missed for so long in 2020 having a very very healthy crowd here tonight enjoying this occasion and why wouldn't they be some of the best women's tennis you, you will see Brady, Please, thank you. What has she got right now? One four. Fifteen. Another quality serve from Brady. 181 Ks, it's uh, right up there. Oh, it's arguably her best service game yet. Lots of first serves of quality. She's still alive, very much so, in fact. 2 4. Crowd right into this down here. They're really urging on Jem Brady, as you would expect. They want the contest to go on. Just a few glances from Nomi up to her team, uh, as you would expect. That's what you see when she's slightly nervous, but still got the job ahead. A couple more games to finish this one off. But so far, the level courtside here has been simply stunning.
15 Winning 72% of her points when the first serve goes in for the match, Osaka. What a weapon. We can just put ourselves on repeat in the commentary box. Great serve. rally of the match so far 16 shots in total quality hitting for both players Quite doing enough with the forehand return a serve. And then Naomi punishing in the far corner. Defence, though, from Brady. Uh, the crowd really appreciating the efforts that she's giving. We saw those numbers before the work rate, and Jen Brady's work rate is so much higher than Osaka's. She's the one that has had to do the scrambling. Mm -hmm. She's missed it so. Now, Osaka, the world number three, will become the world number two if she can win one more game. 5 2. Osaka just has the ability to take control of points, whether it be from the first serve or any time in particular. I believe she gets a second serve opportunity. She's just in control the entire time. And that means that. Her opponents are often on the defense. What we've seen tonight is Jen Brady had the intent to come out and be aggressive. And she did that up to a point and then just has been over pressing in this second set. Well, she was in the tougher part of the draw, to be fair, as well, as far as uh, reputations and rankings are concerned, Osaka and uh, She's come through, save that one match where she was against Muguruza and was down match Time points. Out. Otherwise, she's really been relatively untroubled. Well, not only are they watching inside Rod Laver Arena, but they're outside as well. They're having a wonderful time, despite the fact that uh, this match may be coming to a conclusion in the not too distant future. This crowd has really appreciated everything that they've been witness to. So, you, Brady, 2-5. Thank you. Brilliant. Makes it look so straightforward and simple. Love.
one-two punch for Brady. To remind everyone that Jen Brady, this is her first Grand Slam final. Uncharted territory for her. been a final but she's actually really looked like she's enjoyed the occasion sometimes when you see a first up finalist they come up they're wrecked with nerves not so tonight this has been a great performance against one of the greats potentially that we're going to see in our sport so Jen Brady going along really well perfect you'll see in the women's game it's simple but so precise led for serve That's a Pete Brady got away to such a poor start in the second set. Lost the first four games. Since then, she's been more than competitive. Oh, she's not done with yet either. So Osaka now. Has the opportunity and the stress that goes with it to serve for another Grand Slam title. Now, well, there are the shots that you need to make. That is the trophy for which they are playing. The Daphne Ackhurst Memorial Trophy. Oh. 
That's yeah. long and that's unfortunate. 14. So Osaka, she uh, lifted her second career Grand Slam title here in 2019. Is she about to lift her fourth Grand Slam title? Match points. Osaka is champion in Australia for the second time. Set. Jen Brady, she has a lot to be proud about. Has made it through to her first Grand Slam final. But Naomi Osaka, she is a crowd favourite. Well deserved. Well, I think the crowd being on their feet as they are give you an indication of just how much they enjoyed the contest they saw in Brady, someone who fought with everything she had. They saw in Osaka, somebody very, very special. Remembering she'd only won six titles in total before tonight, three of which were Grand Slams. Now, there are four.